Hi everybody. Today I will try to demonstrate how to use this pulse generator board, which is a very simple electronic device to control a servo motor attached to its driver. So uh, I know the wires seem to be a mess. They are a mess, but uh, I will uh, I will also upload the uh, schematic. So, we have this, which is the power supply used to power both the driver and the motor, and this, uh, this electronic board. This is an AC servo, so it runs on 220 volts, which is from the main supply here, through the blue and red thick wires and the earth protection is supplied here to the driver. The thin green and black wires supply 12 volts to this pulse generator. Uh, so now I will turn on the power and hopefully everything will start. So the driver starts and displays zero. This is powered up. This is also powered up. However, in this mode it does nothing. This is a very simple board, only has two buttons. This is for direction and this is on and off. However, it does nothing. Because first we should enable the servo. The servo doesn't is not waiting for any commands. So from the menu I will force enable the servo which starts the motor. This although it has this on and off button which now should be on it really does nothing to turn on or off the servo motor. So either on or off, nothing happens. However, this, the direction, is working. As you can see, the knob is controlling the, the RPM of this uh, servo motor. I will uh, this memorizes the state of the driver and should it should display the RPM somehow it did before it doesn't do it now So I said this knob is controlling the RPM. It can change direction. It will move because it's not clamped or anything. It can move from a slow 20 RPM to a fast 750 RPM. This has some jumpers, I haven't tried to, to do anything with them. These three jumpers should increase the RPM, I guess. So if I take out this jumper, right now it is in full RPM. If I put it back in some other position, Right now, it's very slow, and it will only go slow. It's, it almost comes to a complete halt. Thanks for watching. So this board has a, a very simple 
um, inputs. This is the 12 volt power. It actually can take from 8 to 24 volts. Um, and these are for the pulse generator itself. So it's enable, the first, the red wire, direction and step or clock as it says. These are all positive, this is the negative wires and they all connect into this 25 pin connector on the driver. Uh, for this specific driver I can I can upload the, the specifications, uh, the, the connections, so where the wires come and what they do. Um, this has uh, this is the power the power input. It has live and neutral. These white wires go to the brake, and uh, the other three wires are the three phases of the servo motor. This is the earth protection. Uh, also, this is the absolute encoder of the servo motor so it has the three phases of the power supply and this uh, six wires from the from the encoder